I was trying to figure out a way to make this loud, make this me. And I am a woman that is just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Chronic illness sucks and it's killing everybody. This depression, this pandemic, the, the, the Great Depression too, woke me up. I want to show the world how to heal. I have big plans. I want to save the world. And every time I try to make an episode on the podcast, you know, there's all kinds of noise in the background. And I wanted to record it and make sure you guys got it. It was quiet, quiet before I started recording. It doesn't want me to get the message out there, but the world needs to heal and I got a big job to do. I suffer from autoimmune. I suffer from injuries. I suffer from depression. I suffer from IBS. I suffer from, um, it's a big word, give me a second. Um, making me forget it's making me forget the word it, it's like a it's a bowel problem it's a bowel disease um, it could cause cancer I'm gonna get cancer you know this thing's already in me I'm gonna get cancer statistics you know I read the books I studied the body I did the research and I'm gonna die in a couple years but I figured Instead of crying about it, instead of depressing myself about it, I am going to give whatever time I got left here on earth, everything I got. And I hope this message speaks out there to everybody that's suffering from chronic illnesses, that's suffering from cancer, that's suffering from depression, that, you know, it's, it's apparent that you feel like you're fucking it up and, you know, why? it was I am and I am learning but don't beat yourself up for it this is for anybody that is just tired of seeing the world hurt I just want to see life you know I want to see people playing with the kids in the park and their dogs you know people being able to take their dogs places and people starving you know I'm starting a project and I hope you guys can get in on it and I'm saving all the seeds of fruits that I eat and I'm trying to plant you know the seeds and I'm starting the roots and I'm gonna start just planting them everywhere all over the seeds wherever I can I don't care I don't need no permission I don't need permission to be a helping hand for a future so people are not fucking starving I don't need permission for that, okay? Enough people are fucking starving out there. A lot of us, you know, we have to go plant-based. A lot of us have to eat fruits and vegetables. And you know how expensive that shit is when we can just fucking grow them. We can just grow them. And then a lot of us live in apartments. Well, guess what? There's, there's spaces. There are spaces out in the cities where we can plant, you know? And if you guys stop being dipshits and assholes, everybody can fucking pitch in for the community and just have vegetables and fruit for the whole community, dude. Like, your whole city can have it. You guys can have, like, herbs and just, like, medicinal stuff that you can use organically so we can stop dying of diabetes. We can stop dying of cancer. We can stop dying of Alzheimer's. We can stop dying of this. We can stop dying of these chronic illnesses and autoimmune that keep showing up. We can do so much, but nobody wants to do it. And people that are doing it want to be selfish and make money off of it and whatever. And yes, I need money. I'm on a fucking budget, you know. I'm on a budget. I got 10 dogs. I got a teenager that eats a lot. And, you know, he doesn't have to live gluten-free. And living gluten-free is expensive, you guys. So we are struggling. We're struggling. My bills are... Aren't even 
I've been kissing so much ass to like let the light bill so they don't turn it off because I can't I can't afford it. Um, they might repo my car soon, so you know I'm just trying to use it for whatever I could do right now that I have it because shit's about to be hard. Shit's about to be hard. Um, my boyfriend helps me a lot, but he's gonna end up eventually burning himself out. And fibromyalgia is a fucking motherfucker. It hurts. It stops you from working. It stops you from working. And I've been having flares of it back and forth for three weeks. You know? And I had I had stopped smoking. I had stopped. But I'm going crazy. I become disgusting. I am in pain. And all this because the army didn't want to take care of a fucking injury when I told them it was there. It caused arthritis through my fucking waist, through my spine, to my arms, everywhere. Thank you, thank you, motherfucker. And now, because of all the medication, I have all these issues in my stomach. Okay. I started learning that if you go in your subconscious and you hear your trauma, that you're able to reverse this. So I am trying it. Why the fuck not? I have a teenager. You know, I have one. That's all I need. That's all I want. And that's all I worry about. So I want to live a healthy, good life for whatever life I do have left, according to the books, right? And okay, whatever the books are there. God's making miracles because I was able to go hike on body, you know? And it was snowing, you know? Oh my God, I thought I was gonna die with the cold. I thought I was gonna die. And then I didn't die. I was I was so mean on the way up. I posted up on YouTube and everything. <laughs> I was very mean, but I was tired. I was just tired. I was in no pain, no chronic pain. No arthritis pain, no fibro pain, you know, no IBS pain, no ulcer colitis. Ulcer colitis, you see, that's the other one. No pain, you know. And I came back home and I was like, oh, okay, I'll take it, God. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. You made it happen, you know. I never ever gonna, you know, say it's not real. You're not real. You know, you made this miracle happen. And I was like, I'll take the soul and it's fine, I deserve it. It was a big hike. It was a very big hike for me, you know. I haven't hiked anything ever like that in like five years, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Um, and I did it out of nowhere. And it was so nice, you know. I prepared with yoga. I be prayed with yoga and diet and meditation and prayer. And, you know, I didn't have to go do no ways. I didn't have to go run and do nothing. You know, and, and that was going so good. And then I started stressing again. And then everything came back. Um, so, is it psychological? If it is, you know, this is going to cure the whole world, right? <laughs> if, if this is psychological, all that can disappear and people can work on themselves and we can cure this, right? And if it isn't, it just means that you need to believe in God and ask him to heal you, you know? So, help me get the word out, you guys. Go support because a girl is on a budget and I love, I love my puppy. You know, yesterday was Mother's Day, and all day I was crying. I was holding each one because we need to get rid of them soon, and they're going to come see them tomorrow. Because I am a veteran, I have Section 8, you know, we can have all those dogs. And I don't want to get rid of them, you know, they're my babies. I don't want to keep them all. No. But we don't have the space and we don't have the money. 
and I need to focus on my eyes because Alex has, you know, mental illness too, and he's, he's on his way. He's on his way, so he just needs me to be the cheering for him. But it's so heavy, you know, and I, I want you guys, I want you guys to heal. So pray for me because it, uh, it's hard just focus on your body and trying to heal it to just focus on repairing it it's a lot of work but you know it's, it's doable you know and i'm getting a six pack so go check it out yourself you'll be the judge <laughs> see you guys